welcome back subscribers first time visitors first time visitors this is an unboxing or an unwrapping of this 0 0.28 inch 100 volt 50 amp meter it also features a voltmeter i happen to get hold of this from eco robotics it's one of the it's a shop here in Namibia that actually supplies electronics like the, the one I have in my hand and Raspberry Pis etc etc they had a birthday sale a few weeks ago and they also happen to have this uh, these guys on sale so this is not a sponsored video but I definitely got this with my own coins from them because the price matched and it definitely matched the ones that I actually want for my solar setup so why did I go for this well for starters, uh, if you've been a long-term viewer of my channel, you know that I have a dual solar setup. One so, uh, 140 watt panel hooked up to a 10M PWM charge controller and a 30 watt panel hooked up to a 5M fo uh, focus charge controller, both hooked up to one battery. And then of course there are the DC loads that I have. And the one thing that I've always been let me say confused about since around 2012 yes i had a couple of uh, voltmeters to take the measurements of the battery itself but as for the power that comes in from the solar panels and that's going from the battery to the dc loads i was completely clueless i of course there's one thing to have the spec sheet to tell you one thing but it's a whole different ball game when it comes to actually using that power because more than often it's normally rated higher than for what you normally use it and I hope this actually gets to solve some of those questions I have regarding my solar setup so for starters the head unit itself we have the voltmeter we have the amp meter this is actually what's going to be reading the volt uh, the amps across the shunt and these two cables are actually what's uh, responsible for delivering that information to the display unit I'll just read it out loud, it's a 600 volt, the cable is actually uh, able to support 600 volts, 18 AWG, uh, I believe this is uh, rated for up to 7 amps, now this is just to read the information that is on this amp, I mean on the shunt, passing from one point to the next point. So according to the spec sheet, uh, let's start with the spec sheet. Uh, the the technical stuff of it uh, this unit or this kit the head unit is actually using less than 20 milliamperes and I have three of them so all three combined is less than 100 milliamperes that is perfectly fine for what I intend to use it the shunt come on let's see oh there we go actually uses around 75 millivolts at 50 amps of course it's so a common practice of mine is not to use more than uh, overuse what <coughs> a common practice I have is not to use its fullest capacity uh, now if that is for the phone if it's for whatever gadget I have I, I believe in actually doubling or maximizing the life expectancy of all my gadgets and the, 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 most, the, the key points let me quickly run through them so uh, there, there's uh, quite two, uh, two ways I came across of actually having to power up the system. The, the, the main way is actually having to hooked up to the source. Now my observation has been in the past that uh, most some of the YouTube viewers, YouTube content creators use this to measure power coming from the battery to the load. For me I want to use it two ways or attempt to use it in two ways from the solar panel to the charge controller to the battery now between the solar panel and the charge controller this is where i want to throw up two of them we actually get a real world because uh, we live in different zones on the planet certain solar panels may only read 19 volts in colder climates more to the far, uh, but far from the, the equator where the sun is mostly concentrated as you get closer to that the voltage it also depends on so these are some of the factors it also encouraged me to, to get uh, this particular setup so the two for my case uh, I had two options either rechargeable 9 volt battery which will require charging every few weeks uh, it's a hassle and then of course a you guessed it USB type A wire that I I didn't cut it for this uh, particular project I had it cut in the past I knew somewhere along the lane it will, it will end up being handy for for my present setup 
Now I actually want to plug it into the 5 volt USB port that's on the 20 ampere charge controller PWM. One of the charge the, the charge controller that's hooked up to the 40 watt charge controller and plug it in, plug it out at night, plug it out because there's a lot of not a lot of activity happening at night because I have a DC setup. And it's simple, it's straightforward. Uh, it will be an enclosed environment, so the coldest we've maybe experienced in Vanduk was around maybe what, one degrees, maybe minus one. And the highest is normally what, maybe in the 40s. Now that would be pushing it, so this system won't be subject to extreme temperatures because, like I mentioned before, uh, I like having my things to last them a very long time. So potential uses for this in the future current setup so like the setup I have now is what 70 until proven using the setup so let's say on paper uh, I have a total of 70 watts split two ways cooler cables uh, maximizing the most of the Sun as it moves across the sky so the maximum for the 12 volt now 25 amps I want to use half of it so this way the system gets to remain as cool as possible and then long life so the next step for me potentially would be the 24 volt setup and this is of course maybe like two you can even look at it either way either two uh, 300 watt solar panels either in parallel of course if it's in parallel the amps might be a bit higher but this is more or less what I'm aiming towards this is just a rule of thumb this this is just guidance for me to, to let me know that I'd be using this for a very very long time and then of course uh, if we move along we'll see that there's a 25 amp at 48 volt now this is more for a home a residential home setup the average power consumption in Namibia uh, an article I read online stated that the average home uses between 7 to 10 kilowatts a day now imagine having four of this say, uh, for four arrays, yes, I, I, I like maximizing the sunlight a day. So this should be around 4.8 to 4.9 uh, kilowatt. Of course, having I only got three, two for uh, one for the 40 watt, one for the 30 watt, and one for all the DC loads. So the, this this should last me a long time for it to get outdated. Um, it, it will take a while the only downside to this it only shows the volts and it only shows the the amps so for me it's perfectly fine because once i get hold of something a bit more advanced that actually gives me volts amps power i will move this on to the next project so this way it won't sit around idly um, only two th two main so this will be the cables that i'll be using to have it powered as i mentioned before i'll just use a uh, a chopped up version of a USB A port and then call it a day. So, nice thing that I actually like about this is to put uh, small potentiometers. One is to adjust. I will see, I'll see how, how I can play around with it once I throw this onto my power wall. This is for measuring the current, and this dude over here is for just the fine tuning the voltage. Maybe. I don't know, I'm just speculating now, this is now uh, speaking from hindsight, maybe there's a way of tweaking this, whereby when I have all my USB ports powered up on standby, not actually using any power, maybe I can have this zeroed out, I don't know, uh, it remains to be proven until I get to that point. So to summarize everything, uh, the volts is between 4.5 to 30 volts so that means you you're given flexibility to have this device itself powered up the temperature is, is very reasonable at least for me being in Namibia maybe worst case scenario minus one up to maybe 45 but even 45 would is a bit far-fetched so this being powered independently will allow them for the volts to be pushed up to for say the solar array now this is for the power that runs across this this is not to power this and th th that's why i kind of like the idea of having this cable powering all three of them of course make sure that the polarity matches i don't know if this thing has reverse polarity protection or if you incorrectly power it up it won't burn up it, i'm not sure if it has that protection or reverse uh, as i mentioned before so 
this should be fun to actually throw this up so again shout out to eco robotics for making this available in namibia i know most of you have access to alibaba um, the amazons etc so see you in the see you in the next one